Hey YouTube, I just wanted to give an updated video on this is a Raven Concealment Vanguard 2 Minimalist IWB Holster and I've been carrying this every day for three years and it in combination with this with the 43 it makes it near invisible even with uh, athletic clothes that are uh, a little bit tighter fitting it, it conceals very well you know I run around with it and it's not so heavy where it's bouncing up and down now granted most of the tension is provided by the belt is holding it to my waist and so uh, makes it very comfortable I, I wear it all day long from morning to evening even when I came home and even in my office at home uh, it's I just keep it on it doesn't really bother me and I'll take a nap with it it's it's not this huge bulging setup that's very uncomfortable all day long and I hold it in the appendix holster uh, in appendix position so they just say IWB I've tried it in the the rear of the back at the about four o'clock position but for me it just kind of it hurts my back and especially I drive with it I don't once I once I put it on my belt in the morning, I don't take it off uh, until the very end of the day and it just gets locked up in the safe. Uh, so this it definitely isn't meant to take for a range day to pull in and out of consistently. If I, if I have to reholster, for whatever reason I take it out, I will always take this off my belt, which is very easy. It's just one single clip. It's a plastic, and I like this too. It's matted. It's not a shiny black clip. And if I have to reholster, take it out, and then make sure there's no obstructions, and this clips right in. Very secure. And if you have to load it out, it's nice because the most important part here being covered You place it around in the chamber, then all of that was done with this protected. So, and this is how it just sticks in my belt. And they, they run about $40. So for the price, the availability, and Raven Concealment also provides a lot of the hardware for a lot of uh, a lot of other manufacturers and that's actually how I came across them is one of my other Kydex holsters they recommended I get a particular clip from Raven Concealment so for a range day I, I wear a Kydex and but it's a much larger setup so you have about another half inch on top of material and another inch or so of material on the bottom as well so it creates a much larger footprint now that's the one that Obviously, if you're at the range, you want to pull in and out of uh, consistently rather than pulling this out of your belt, clipping it on, sticking it back in your belt. Uh, the Kydex is definitely the way to go. Uh, this is not Kydex. Uh, just feels like plastic. It actually feels a lot like the same polymer plastic that's used on the frame for the Glock. So... Yeah, I uh, just wanted to give an update on it. So, like I said, I had it for three years, and it's uh, it's worked out pretty well. And it's near invisible. I run with it, and overall setup is very lightweight as well. And most of the tension comes from obviously the your belt holding this to your body. And so, yeah, and just being a slim line, like I said, it even with athletic clothing or even tighter fitting clothing it just vanishes uh, which that's that's what I prefer uh, and even when I tuck this in I tuck a shirt in or jeans and a tucked in shirt a t-shirt you all I have a belt that covers uh, this portion right here so only you see just the bottom and the very top of it might see a little bit but just about a quarter of an inch sticks out at the bottom and so, uh, even with the shirt tucked in, it's not, you don't see this raised line on your waistline. Not that people are really looking. Uh, 
I know as people who carry, uh, we get, we're a little, sometimes can be a little bit overcritical about that, but, um, yeah, but it's, a uh, yeah, it's been, it's held up. Uh, like I said, I'm not drawing out of it every day. Uh, I just pull it in and out of my pants like this uh, most days. At the end of the day or at the beginning, you know, I'll just practice drawing out from it. But once again, when you go back in, always take this off. First, off your belt, then clip it on. Make sure there's no obstruction. Clip it on, then stick the whole setup into your waistline. And uh, this one, oh, uh, the sights, uh, I'm sure somebody will ask. It's a blacked out rear. It's got the serrations, and so you don't have any glare. And it also has a large luminescent and tritium ampule in the front. Ameriglow, what's it, H3. And uh, good combat style sights. And it's a pretty large dot for what it looks like. And if I can line it up in the camera about right there where you see, where you barely see any light that's less than a millimeter of light on each side that's about what the actual perspective of when I shoot looks like because uh, when I hold it up here it looks like it's a very thin post which it is not it's it's pretty wide post so yeah from there that perspective actually looks like the Trigicon HD XRZ extended range one which I don't like for this setup uh, this is a small pistol and uh, an EDC pistol that I don't need long range shooting for. So, yeah. Yeah, about right there where it fills it up. It's very easy to find that dot in that U, that U notch. So, yeah. Pretty good sights. But, yeah, have any questions? Let me know. Thanks. Bye.